Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we'll be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this all-round vegetable sauce that can be eaten with rice, yam, potato or spaghetti. And so guys, wear your apron and let's begin. I have some beef here which I'm going to season with salt. And some chicken bullion powder and thyme and some ginger and dry pepper and bay leaf. I'm going to add some onions to this just give it a little stir add some little water and let it cook until it's soft and tender all ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box. While I wait for the meat to cook and become tender, I'm going to blend this habanero pepper, onions, ginger and garlic to together. I'm going to give it a rough blend, not a smooth one, but a rough blend. Now that the meat is tender and soft, I'm going to remove it from the pot allow it to sit for some time before I start frying and now I'm going to add some granite oil to this fry pan it's going to be a little more because I want to enjoy my with yam so I like it when it has that extra oil on the yam you know what I mean I'm now going to fry this beef Three minutes on each side until they are golden brown in color. I will add some onions to the beef and give it a stir. At this point I added salt to it because I want the vegetable oil to have more flavor. Now I will add the pepper mix and give it a very good stir. I like to cook for 10 minutes before we add the vegetable. Now that it has been cooking for 10 minutes, I'm going to add the magic flavor to this dish. Crayfish. Crayfish makes a big difference in this food. I tell you, the flavor that comes out from the crayfish flavor in this food is really, really exciting. Here I have ugu leaf, green vegetable leaf that has been cut already, sliced into tiny pieces and washed, soaked first in salt water and rinsed in fresh water. 
and we're going to mix all this together check for seasoning for salt if it's up to your taste if it's not you can add i'm going to add some chicken bouillon Give it a very good stir. Now I'm going to add some habanero pepe to it to give it more spice and also color. If you have enjoyed this video up to now, smash that like button, subscribe and share with friends and family and also drop me a smiley emoji in the description box <laughs> we're going to give it a stir and turn off the heat because it's very important that we don't overcook this vegetable if you have enjoyed watching this video to the end Please like and share with friends and family and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you have already subscribed to my channel thank you so 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 much for subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!